Thanks, Josh. Pan was released last Friday. The film tells the story of how a young Peter Pan first discovered Neverland. And, well, it's not very good. The plot's nothing special and is sure to be forgotten as soon as you leave the theater. The acting in this movie is the most entertaining part, and not in a good way. Levi Miller, who plays Peter Pan, does an okay job, but nothing spectacular. Hugh Jackman gives a solid performance, but even this respectable star power isn't enough to save this movie. It's Garrett Hedlund's portrayal of young Captain Hook that literally had me in tears of laughter. It's performances like this that make me wonder how these people even became actors. The plot felt like it took minutes to drum up, and the acting was laugh-worthy. It's a fun little homage to the world of Disney's Peter Pan, but I wouldn't recommend watching in this film unless you really, really are into Disney, or if Bay wants to watch it. This is why I'm giving Pan 2 out of 5 stars. The beta for Star Wars Battlefront ended this Tuesday. I got a chance to play through it to determine if it lives up to my fairly high standards for both video games and Star Wars. Enemy bomber has locked onto our walker. Star Wars Battlefront is EA's most played beta, at over 9 million gamers worldwide trying out the intergalactic shooter. It's truly a sight to behold, blasting away at rebel scum on the icy surface of Hoth as a TIE fighter whizzes by engaging in a dogfight with an opposing X-Wing. It's moments like this that had my jaw ajar during the first 30 minutes or so, but I had to set my fanboy bias aside and ask myself, if this wasn't Star Wars, would this be a good game? The answer to that is, eh. As far as innovation goes, Battlefront doesn't really do anything that Battlefield wasn't doing years ago. In fact, the map seems slightly more linear than the larger destructive war zones of Battlefield 3. Now of course this is a beta and should be treated as such. Only so much of the game's content is available for testing, but what I've seen so far has only captivated me due to the fact that it's freaking Star Wars. It's hard to say how quickly this game will get old. It retails as a fully-fledged $60 game, and EA has announced a season pass for an additional $50. That's $110 just to experience all this game has to offer, which I fear will not be that much. Hopefully we'll stop seeing these mediocre games and movies whose only purpose is to capitalize on our childhood nostalgia. We now go back to Billy with more news.